decided to build up the orbital accumulators that was invented by Wilhelm Reich. Yeah. Or as my classmates like to call it, the 8,000 peso mongol growing machine. <laughs> <laughs> Wright's findings, this accumulator focuses the force around us, everywhere, into this box, charging whatever is inside with cosmic energies. It's supposed to work by alternating layers of organic and inorganic material, as specified by Wright after extensive research. <laughs> so the layers are fiberglass, steel wool, wood, and a galvanized iron sheet. So since this is a miniature model, I couldn't exactly fit inside it. So I tried so I wanted to see if my brother Sky could fit inside <laughs> <laughs> the shorter side. Alas, it didn't work either. So I went to the next best thing, which was to put a batch of mango seeds inside. Mongo for 50 seed. minutes a day, as specified by Wright, to avoid overcharging. And I compared it to go to an, another batch that did not go into the box, but just stayed outside and grew like a normal plant would. So I tested the seeds over the course of four or five days. Well, my classmates were in the acting is very helpful and enthusiastic skeptics as they are. <laughs> On the first day, we can already see noticeable differences. Mm -hmm. Noticeable differences from this batch, which is the force controlled batch, and the, the normal seats over there. <coughs> And on the second day, you can see, wow, this grew so much more. And this one hardly grew at all, because it seems like concrete evidence of my box working. So as you can see, there are three sprouts coming out from this batch. So this batch is hardly germinating at all. Thank you. No, just ask me to I know my son. Right, and as you can see, there's a noticeable difference between this batch, which has two fully, almost fully grown mongrel sprouts, and this doesn't grow any sprouts at all. This is almost amazing evidence that this, that this box accelerated the growth of this plant in around a day, in such a short span of time. Now, on the fourth day, we the most conclusive evidence, which led me to fully believe in the of my box. So which one is which? How amazing. I don't, I don't know about you, but I really don't know my results. Because as you can see, there's a whole forest of mongoose going there. A whole forest of mongoose. And that's just hurt. <laughs> it grew so much. So I, I'm amazed. Personally, personally, I'm amazed at what I have come up with. Since in the box. It doesn't even compare to this one, personally. <laughs> so, yeah, these plants are actually on exhibit and you might want to see them if you have a time. But for me, this is concrete, like, really something with strong evidence that this box actually works. So, as my classmates, like, my classmates have come with many theories over the, few, the past few weeks. Oh, you put too much water in that one, <laughs> that one's for the compost. You didn't want that one, you put that one in the bathroom, <laughs> you tamper with the seat. I, well, the thing about the force in itself is that it is a belief. It is something that is subjected to the person who is observing it. But the thing with mysticism, as I said, is that it's more than a belief. It has concrete, real applications in reality. As you can see here, Philosophy could make these plants grow, but mysticism could, of course, in itself, make these plants grow. This is a concept, a belief that this, this wooden box, this 8,000 pesos longer growing box, <laughs> made this, these results happen. And it is combined with belief and the results that I found over my short five day period of testing, that I was able to have a greater appreciation or even acceptance. Of course. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Questions?